Welcome back to another beer review. I thank you for watching, first and foremost. Today I'm trying Dead Pony Club by Brewdog. And since I'm getting a bit of a reputation as the IPA guy, although I do try other stuff, today I'm trying Dead Pony Club, which is only 3.8%. It's a session IPA. So I'm going to see how much of an IPA it is, session wise. First and foremost, I do like the can design. I like the green, fade into white. Saddle up for session, because you would. If it's a session B, you drink a lot of it. Saddle up. Again, return of the brew dog glass because it's a 330 mil can I've got today. Whoa, a lot of head on that. Wait for that to go down. The head has got a slightly golden touch to it. As far as other PA goes, that's quite dark. In fact, and there might be a few people that go, you're crazy, you don't know what you're talking about. That reminds me of Thirsty Ferret in the way it's kind of quite dark, especially for an IPA. Anyway, here's another look at the can. I want for the head to go down. Dead Pony Club. Now, this is something I've not tried before. This is something I got in that Christmas gift pack. Uh, I love the can. Can's quite good. As I said, 3.8%. It's a session IPA. Now, session seems very opinionated. Like something I see as a session beer, someone else might not see as a session beer. But again, 3.8%, you can't argue with that. That's not going to get you very drunk. In fact, that's the same percentage as the Lincoln Green Old Bailey. Again, I can't sing praises of this glass enough. I do quite like that glass. <laughs> this, I mean, this is the long-lasting thing I'm going to have from that box set review. When the beers are all gone, I'm going to have this glass. And I really love the fact I've got a smaller beer glass. Bit of a taste of it there, but I'll taste a bit of this. The head's not going down quick. Again, it might be the way up or it. That's a bit more savoury. <laughs> that is a bit more savoury than the Hazy Jane. I don't know if it's masking the fact that it's only 3.8%, but it reminds me, and I've not got around to reviewing any yet, but it reminds me of that bite you get from non-alcoholic beer. And it might be because it's less alcohol in it, but it's kind of a bite to it that's reminiscent of non-alcoholic beer. I'm not saying it doesn't taste like it's got alcohol in it's very, it's a very, that's got to be one of the darkest IPAs I've ever reviewed on this channel so far. Again, there's the can if you want to see it. There's still some in it. Dead Pony Club. I like the name. I like the can. It tastes similar to, and I've not reviewed it on this channel yet. There's an alcoholic beer I drink a lot called Bavaria 0.0 .0. and that tastes very similar to it there's kind of a bite to it at the end but Bavaria does it obviously to mask the fact there's no alcohol in it but there is alcohol in this so it's a very weird flavour it's a bit earthy there's no fruity vibes to it like there was with Hazy Jane or like there was with uh, some of the other RPAs I've had and I, I do want to branch out because at the moment I've kind of self-called myself it and a few other people have seen me as a bit of an IPA guy. An IPA is bloody lovely. You know, if you've got an IPA and you don't want it and you want to give it to me for free, go ahead. But I do like other stuff as well. But Brewdog, loving the glass. I really love this glass. It's almost like it's not an IPA at all. It's very... It's characteristics of an ale in there. It's characteristic... Yeah. First, I'm getting flashbacks of Thirsty Ferret, if I'm honest. I seem to keep it simple. There's either a yay or an A scale here. There's no 10 out of 10 or all that stuff. And I gave Hazy Jane a yay. I would have to give this a nay. This, I'm, 
I'm not struggling, but Hazy Jane was 5%, and I could drink that all day long. This, the flavour is just... It tastes like an ale, not like a Session IPA at all. And it's not chilled, you know. I'll, I might do another review down the line where it's chilled. But this is not chilled right now, and it doesn't taste like a Session IPA. I couldn't knock these back comfortably, but I could knock back Hazy Jane, you know, till the cows come home, basically. I'm going to give this an A. If you like it, I don't mean to offend you. If you like it, comment below. Comment how I'm wrong. If you agree with me, comment how I'm right. Obviously, I appreciate that. Um, comment below if you've tried it. If you've not, if you're going to try it, what beers do you want me to try next? And I appreciate you watching. And, uh, yeah, keep the conversation going because at the end of the day, we want to talk about beer. There's a lot of conversation. We've all got different tastes. We've all got different things we prefer. And at the end of the day, it's good to keep the conversation going. Cheers.